Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Magical Mischief Tour. Today we're going to be um, uh, recovering my corpse. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, if you don't remember, I died last episode, so that's kind of a thing. And I respawned on one of the beds I accidentally clicked on uh, while I was looting this place. So, yeah, mistakes were made, but... On the plus side, there is a little bit of wood here. I've already harvested all that I can out of the chests that are in this room. On the plus side, I still have my trinkets, which if I... Let's see what I can... I can scare away baby monsters. Well, I'm immune to wither, poison, and fire damage, so that's that's a good thing. I also have a bit of wood, so I can create a crafting table, and then from that... I can make at least some wooden items. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to need sticks to, again, probably make a pick. And I would go for an axe, but I think a sword is more appropriate in this case because I might need to keep multiple enemies at bay. Um, so I'm just going to keep the rest in case I need it for now. And oh, uh, So the good thing is, looking on the map, I have an end portal marker that I put up just before I went in. And I also have a portal marker here, so it's going to be a little bit dark, but I see a, a mob spawner over there. I don't know. Oh, that, that's a red one. Okay, that won't spawn anything unless I get too close. So I'm going to try and just go in close proximity. I, I hear a zombie. Okay, so far so good, uh, but that is a mob spawner, and that's that's not good for me. Let me see if I can mine this up. This is going to take me way too long with a wooden pick. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay. It may be a dark room, and I'm sorry for those that are watching on YouTube, but um, hopefully things will get brighter as I go. All right, this is looking promising, but that, not so much. I'm glad you can't fit through the doors. That's actually pretty uh, convenient for me. Oh, this is promising. Some iron ingots, a little bit more food. So with that, I can upgrade to an iron sword from a wooden one. I'm already I'm already progressing a little bit at a time here. This is good. Ah, looks like I found a barracks room that hasn't been raided yet, which this place is so huge. Oh, there we go. I've already got a little bit of armor. Got a bow with no arrows, though. Diamond chest plate. Okay, this is getting pretty good. And I see that there's even more weapons. I already have some right now, so I'm not too bothered with it. Oh, hello, leggings. Now I just need some boots. There we go. Chain will do. Should be able to make a shield here. There we go. One of these. And I'm feeling pretty good now. Uh, this is actually really nice. Uh, just put away this extra sword now because I don't need that. If I get any arrows, then I'll have something to deal with there. But let's get rid of this junk as well. All right. And the only thing I think I'm going to change out is actually, since I found another loot area, is going to upgrade my boots to iron from the chain ones. Just put those back in here. And I think I'll keep the iron on me for now. I even have a couple torches. Just to be extra sure, I also now have an iron pick. So I've had an idea, and I think it's a little bit scary, and that is to go out into the caves. Um, this may not be the best idea because that's where most of the mobs are. Oh, I see a, an astral pool down there. That's really cool. Um, but I think this should give me some access to a few raw materials that I can use. Aha! This is actually what I'm looking for here. Some Ventium, because I think a bit of this smelted up will get me what I need. A little bit of Ventium coated iron. There we go, two Vintium ingots. This is actually what I'm looking for here. Because I think with the Vintium I found, plus a couple sticks, should be able to make a Vintium Mana Weaver's Wand. Aha! Which all my cantrips are still memorized in here, which is great. So I'm going to summon my Grimoire now. There we go. Oh, so glad to have you back. I now have magic spells again. Okay, so what do I have again? I don't even remember. Well, first of all, first of all we've got a light spell, but I do see night vision. Oh, that's that's better already. Okay, and then we've got breaking spells, crystallize. I don't have any gems. Um, Eldrin flight. Actually, I I don't have that available to use. Oh, and rift. What do I have in here? Oh, probably should have had one of these with me. Looks like it's straight above me. 
which is great um, because <laughs> I'm going to have to pillar my way up there, and I think that there's probably a spider spawner on the way. Okay, and here we are. Yay! <laughs> Back at the end portal. I'm actually really happy to see this thing, this place again. <laughs> All right, so I've got a little bit of cobblestone, but I don't think I have nearly enough. Even better, I just found an ender pearl. That that'll make it across there real easy. Okay. And that was just because I ended up uh, mining into oops this area a little bit too far. Anyway, so no big deal. So now let's hope that my corpse isn't like stacked like 50 blocks in the air or something like that on that island, and that it actually fell down onto the island so that I can get it much easier. Okay, here we go. That is a good distance to go, but let's see if I can get over here. Um, in fact, the drag has the dragon seen me. Dragon seen me. All right, let's go. Yep, that that kind of hurt a little bit, but <laughs> I'm I'm just moving. Excuse me, not interested in a fight here. Just just here to get my stuff. Oh, there's my I think that's my grave. Yes, yes it is, and that. Is a little phantom blocking my way. Yes! I got all my stuff! Okay! Oh, so much better! <laughs> I missed all my goodies! Oh, I forgot about how fast I can move while I've... with all my other gear on and everything. Gosh. Alright, so I'm gonna try this without blowing up the beacons on the side. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely should have done that first. That was a bit of a mistake there. <laughs> and with that, the dragon dies, and I get a way back home. Give me all that XP. Ooh, got a few levels. Oh, I didn't get the dragon breath. Oh, but I did get dragon skill and a dragon head. So that's something, I guess. All right, well, I have an idea here, and I think I might be able to pull it off because I now have my remote access. I can make a bunch of ender eyes, rather eyes of ender, so that I can make end crystals. And then if I can make four of these, there we go. Um, put this here. You notice that I now have, instead of a shield, my totem of a dying in my hand, <laughs> which is what I should have had. And then I think I put these here. There we go. And then I run away because I don't want to get blown up by something really weird. What is this? Oh, biotite. Okay. I forgot that there was this here. That should restore any of these that are left, which it's going to redo all of them, isn't it? <laughs> Just killed that enderman. There we go, and we now have goal reached the end again. Uh, all right, so second summoning. <laughs> Maybe this time I'll remember to use the glass bottles. Ooh, on the dragon breath. Oh, did that leave some? It did. Can I can I get more of it? I need all the, dra the dragon breath. I, I want twenty bottles worth. Where is she? There she is. Come on. Shoot me with your fireballs so I can put it in a bottle. Perfect. Now just to end this battle once again, I might wait for her to get a little bit closer. And that that should do it. <laughs> again, two shot the Ender Dragon. Pretty impressive. So let's see. The most important thing. Uh, fire wings. Yeah, I, I think that would have been appropriate, but here we go. We're going to go with the fairy wings, because uh, why not? This is uh, one of my favorite ones, but it's it's a, a flappy one. So you see it, it's kind of got like fluttery wings there, as I'm being attacked by things, of course. Get out of here. But this should make exploring a little bit easier uh, than otherwise it would. All right, here we go. Whoo! All right, there's no platform here, but this looks really cool. Check this place out. Uh, can I... Yeah, I can fly just fine. Is that a beacon? It sure... There's another one. That's so weird. Because this one... Yeah, there's one right here. Well, I'm going to put a, a waypoint here, and then maybe we'll see where the others go after I have a little brief look around the island. It looks like there's also some kind of like ruins going on down here. This is pretty neat. And lignite ore. And this gets me lignite, which it looks like it's just like coal. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and this like shulker looking stuff here. This is pretty neat. 
Vermilion Skulk Tendrils. Excuse me, Skulk, not Shulk. <laughs> Vermilion Skulk Growth. Can I pick this up? No, I just got Cobbled Ether Stone. Oddity Cactus. Oddity Bush. Yeah, those hurt. Okay, fair enough. And here's what I'm looking for. A little bit of chorus flowers, plants and stuff. Other than it looking a little bit interesting, I'm not finding, oh, much else. Oh, okay. I guess I am finding a bunch of stuff. This looks a bit crazy. What is this? This is purple bulbous shell with glowstone in there. That looks pretty amazing, especially when it was between these two giant pillars. I thought that it was like a, a structure specifically made for this, but nope, I think that's what this is up here for. There we go. End city, explorer, get. Most of all, importantly, we've got ourselves an elytra, which I, I suppose it's not that important because I already have a method of flying. But it can be used for like glyphs or other spells, things of that nature that you can uh, also combine it. This looks a bit different. They're like little dragon-like pedestals here. A structure with TNT and grass on it. This is really weird. Like they're trying to create a ruined end. What? Probably shouldn't stay long. Find end ru ruins. Okay. That's a dragon egg. Okay, I guess I wasn't really ex- oh, there's Enderman spawner inside the middle of this as well. Alright, let's break that. Oh, and maybe I break a couple blocks down and try again. Alright. There we go. One dragon egg. Oh my gosh. Per per peaks. Okay, yeah, this is very- wow. Okay, it just keeps going up, doesn't it? There's- there's not much up here, but these things are huge and they've got some weird cracked stuff going down through the the island itself. They they look cool, and I guess if you really want some purple blocks, purple stone is the way to go. Okay, this is just kind of weird, finding a bit of a vanilla type biome. It's called Degraded. It has some vanilla-like features in here and it's kind of mixed in. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy stuff. Okay, that was that was actually really close. A creeper just blew up, and I was not. The blasts apparently are my weakness right now. I I could have died right there. Um, yeah, time to go. Oh wait, I died. I don't have wings. Oh crud. Okay, let's get some wings. Uh, blue fairy, it is. Uh, I'm just gonna drink that quick, and I'll see you guys later. All right, kitty slippers are back on my feet again. So I found these Ivis fields, and they've got a lot of, well, <laughs> obsidian. And I was thinking, you know, I could use some obsidian. And this is kind of convenient, and I could use a little bit. And yes, my FPS kind of just got destroyed there, but you know what? Um, I just took out, like, a bunch of the peak, and I have a little bit of obsidian now. There's plenty more I could explore, but the point of coming here was to do what I've already done. And I have kind of taken a look around, and it's got a lot of cool stuff, but I have other things that I want to get to, and I can always come back to this. So, let's head back. Oh no, my wings disappeared when I came back from that dimension. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm like burning through my wings. Right, bat wings it is today. We're going to try that one. And yeah, still though, the Wings mod just adds these such beautiful wings. I really love how they render on you. Ah, and here we are back at home. Uh, it feels like it's... I've been away forever. Uh, but let's see here. Kill the Ender Dragon. Obtain Dragon's Breath. Obtain an Elytra. I have yet to reach magic level 60 though. What what am I at for that? 49. That's, that's going to be a bit actually. So that's only 7 things that I, I'm currently up to. Um, let's see, we could do a little something different then, because I, I don't want to grind for uh, magic level 60. I'll, I'll get there in time just by using my magic spells as I have been. This sounds like it's going to be interesting. Upgrading a rune forge to a brimstone forge using a brimstone charm. Alright, so a brimstone charm, the first six ingredients are really easy to come by. Now this last one though, a greater moat of fire? That requires a wellspring energy. Okay, well, I think it's time that I try and figure out what this wellspring stuff is about. Looks like it'll also require a moat of fire as well, so I might make one of those real quick. 
Oh, I never get tired of doing this ritual. This is such a really cool one. <laughs> Alright, let's look up Eldrin Wellsprings. There's a network of points of power scattered through the world. These points are called Eldrin Wellsprings. They're associated with one of the affinities and vary in power as well. They're invisible unless the Ungent of Wellsprings Sight Ungent, or the more powerful Eldrin Sight Ungent, made by the Council of Wizards, which I have access to, is active, but it is not required to make use of Eldrin Wellsprings. There may be a way to capture them to harness their power when I have more experience. Those aligned with the Council of Wizards can use the Eldrin Flight spell to travel between them and the Eldrin Bracelet to draw power from these Wellsprings when in close proximity to reduce the mana cost of their spells. Oh, cool. Okay. Locating them. So looking at my spell, the greater mode of fire, it says Wellspring Energy Required Fire. And going over here, it talks about how Eldrin Wellsprings, they require, um, or they have specific affinities. And if we're looking for fire, we need to go to deserts and hellish places. Hmm. I feel like a hellish place is actually closer than a desert. Looking at this, the closest desert is way over here, unless I start using teleporter uh, technology. But I also know that all I need to do is just go downstairs and go into the nether, and I can get into the nether real quick and easy. So this may not look like it, but this is actually a bee. Um, yeah, <laughs> wearing a hats mod hat, which for some reason all the hats in the hats mod today are uh, like randomly glowing different rainbow colors. So I must be celebrating somebody's birthday or something like that. But if I can... I'm sorry, B, but I now have your DNA and I can now mass produce the honey I need for the ungent that I will need to be making so that I can see the wellsprings. And that's this honey bottle, along with some kind of slime and purified ventium dust will make that uh, sight ungent that I need. There's a grass block and a bee. Uh, now it should, over time, there we go, grow little bees, and with those, there's a 50% chance on uh, it growing up to give me a honeycomb, and then a 50% chance of also getting a honey drop, which honey drop added to glass bottles can make the honey bottles that I'm going to be needing. So it should just be a few, like, uh, spawns of this bee for me to actually get that. There we go, I got a honey drop. Was it actually we got it on the first try, so that's what I was looking to get. There we go. One bottle of Eldrin Sight. Now not to click with it until I get into the nether. Alright, so I'm going to start using this here, and then if I don't see anything immediately, which I don't expect I will, I will go down here and see if I find anything out in that area. But let's try this spot here. And I'm seeing mobs <laughs> that actually looks like a dwarf, but I'm not seeing much else. All the different mobs are glowing and so on. Maybe I'm in the wrong biome for this. All right, I've opted for the desert because I'm not sure if there's like a little issue with some of the, uh, the biomes interfering. But there we go. I've now... Wow, I drank like multiples of them. Things are glowing, but I'm not actually seeing much else beyond. <laughs> I can see this little guy underneath the surface. I'm not seeing much for a wellspring. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely found something. This, this is, so I know it's working. I don't know that this is fire though. That's interesting. I mean, how do I find out what exactly this type is? I, I don't know. I need to do a little bit more reading, I think. So looking up Wellspring in the index here, I can look up Capturing Eldrin Wellsprings. And it talks about how you can harness the power of it and everything, but you need to build a construct around it. Um, so what I'm going to need is a Wellspring Pillar. And that's going to be some, some metal runes, which are relatively easy to make. I should probably have made a whole bunch of these or set up some automation for them at this point. Uh, but I'm going to get one of those. Uh, it'll require a mode of ender and a little bit of arcane sandstone, but it's nothing really too fancy. And then I'm going to need a refraction lens. Um, specifically, I guess, well, this is for arcane, but I'm guessing that that should work for the fire one that I have here. 
And that requires purified Vintium as well as... Oh, and the different different motes determine the different uh, refraction lens. Okay, fair enough. And then here's the other thing, is that I'm going to need to visualize a multi-block here. And I'm going to pin this for now. So that I know what the materials are that I need. As you can see, I need four of those pillars and one of those refraction lenses. And I'm going to try building that... I guess around this thing and we'll see how it goes. Ooh, pretty. So now that I've got a few more parts and pieces, um, I actually found a little bit more information out. I'd been doing searches in the uh, the Codex search this whole time, and it turns out there's a whole Eldrin Altar like chapter series, and it kind of walks you through what wellsprings are, how to set up the altar, uh, and then how to start harnessing them, and uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go over and attempt to, to find and test this out on a different one. Now, I made stuff for fire because that's what I need, but I don't know if this is going to work because I, I actually don't know what this is. And this is the, the altar that I had set up at that other location um, because this is really close by. And I figured, well, why not? So if I have a drink, you can see there it is. It's right in the middle. Hopefully this is what I need to do. Yeah, I don't have any uh, Eldrin Wellspring energy going on with this, so I don't think that it's pulling fire from that location at least. After uh, doing a bit more research and figuring things out, rather than stumbling around blind in the dark, turns out, yeah, this this one here that's actually not far from, from the house is over there. This is Arcane, uh, and that's noticeable because this is what it looks like. <laughs> so I need to have an arcane lens and then in order to harness that I also put an arcane uh, conduit nearby. Figured might as well. And then I already had all the stuff set up for the other one which turned out that this is Ender. The one that I thought was desert because if I look here it's actually like just off the coast of the desert but when I stand here it's in the ocean. It doesn't really matter because you have a chance of getting any of them in any biome. It's just a better chance in more organized biomes. So I put an ender one here and I figured why not? Uh, but if you notice here when I click on this it says that the wellspring energy we've got 22.4 in ender, we've got 7.3 in arcane, and 27.8 in fire. That's because um, I had to fly around quite a lot in the nether before finding uh, the, the fire one. So let me take you over there before these guys catch up to me. So I'm sure you're familiar with this, my ritual room for making the, the fire moats. Well, if I just go down here, funny thing, there, there was one right there. Uh, I did have to clear out quite a bit. There wasn't much of it that was visible. I think that's why I might have missed it on my first run into the nether. Uh, boy, so much time wasted, and it could have been better if I had known what I was looking for. But these are what they look like here for fire, and I have the same setup. Again, I've got the fire conduit, and I've got the fire lens, but this wasn't enough. This only gave me like seven, so I had to do another one, which, let me see. There we go. It's about a thousand, maybe 1200 blocks that way. Yeah, as you can see, it, it took me quite a distance from over here, way over here before I found another one. I got really lucky finding this one right next to the, the entrance where I came in. But either way, I should have enough now to make a greater moat of fire, because that requires 20. So as it turns out, the uh, these here, the Eldrin Conduits of Fire, I for some reason thought that they would be needed to harness from the altars that we set up, but they're not. When I broke these, the, uh, the amount of fire still remained in the oculus. So I think that these are actually used to transmit to the ritual center. So I put the Eldrin altar here, uh, and if you look in your book here, it actually states the Eldrin altar here. Uh, it talks about it and how to set it up. Not all recipes need all types of power, so I only need to place the ones that re recipe actually requires. So in this case, fire. Each recipe needs a certain amount of Eldrin energy captured from the wellsprings. I'll need to find and capture enough wellsprings to power the altars process. So just by setting up those uh, those wellspring altar setups, I, uh, they're, they're good. I don't need these there. These are to transmit the power from those to this ritual. So currently I've got a couple of pieces of blaze powder here, and I've got a moat of fire. 
And just by right clicking with an empty hand, it should activate this ritual and create that greater mode of fire that I've been trying to get to for some time. Oh, with really cool particle effects as well. That's really neat. And there we go. One greater mode of fire. That That's actually not too bad now. Now it's just a couple of blaze and a bit of that. And it should be good unless did it, did it actually use up that stuff. I'm curious now. No, I still have that fire. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Whew. And now I can add in all these ingredients to make the brimstone charm. And there we go. Then I think this just gets used on something like this. Oh my gosh. And it now makes the Rune Forge extra effective. All right, so let's test this thing out and see what it does. Let's put one iron ore in here. Ooh, already I'm impressed with just the light up and the, the really pretty effects. Wow, that was really fast. And it doubled it just like before, so that's just a really big upgrade for speed. Whew, I think that actually, that gets us, that gets us a fail because it it says upgrade a rune, stone, rune forge to a brimstone forge using a brimstone charge. I did, but it, it didn't seem to want to take it. I don't, I don't know. Well, you know what? I can make more, so that's not a problem. There we go. I just had to do a second one. I made it several more because I figure I'm probably going to need these at some point to kind of duplicate ores. So I did concentrate on making several more of these and I will be using them in the future. It was a little bit, but not too bad. I just, I, I made a whole bunch of fire motes uh, a while back and I'm glad I did because, whew, I've been using a lot of them today. All right, and that takes us to eight of the 11 tasks. And I think with that, we're going to stop because next time we're going to get into constructs. Uh, I haven't made any of these guys. And I know that in more recent versions of Mana and Artifice, they've, they're, they're changing or they've changed or something like that. But we're, we're really going to be uh, getting a little bit into that, having myself some helpers around here, perhaps use them to start setting up some uh, automation for taking care of all those stacks of ores that I have way over uh, at the, uh, the mining facility that's piled up on top of my occultism workstation tower. So anyway, if you guys have been enjoying this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, don't be afraid to click the notification bell. Come visit us on Twitch and... I'll see you next time.